Yo guys, it's me Mia, welcome back, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today the setting's a bit different because I am going to be doing a clothing try on haul video. I've done a couple of these on my channel, not many like at all. And you guys do seem to enjoy them, so I want to do them more. And since quarantine, like I hate to be that it's like since quarantine, I really found my style, but I kind of have, or I haven't found my style. Is that a spider? It wasn't a spider, it was just a flake of paint. But I wouldn't say I found my style, but I've definitely kind of dipped my toe into multiple different styles to kind of see what I like or what I suit best. And my wardrobe is literally so full. I need to do a video where I try on everything in my wardrobe and then show what I'm gonna give away and stuff or throw away because there's, there's a lot and I just I just keep buying things. But it's definitely helped my confidence a lot and I definitely recommend treating yourself to some nice clothes and that sort of stuff if you can. Yeah, I did film a few of these videos like during quarantine when I ordered clothes online or straight after when shops were kind of reopening. But I didn't really like how they turned out and I just... Obviously, I don't want to post content that I'm not happy with. Don't scream at me. But yeah, so what was I going to say? I was going to say something out. Oh yeah, as for clothing brands I am liking at the moment, I recently, I stopped shopping at Shein like ages ago or Shein, whatever you want to say I did. One haul. One haul on my channel, I'm pretty sure of them. Yeah, but um, I literally made one more order after that, I believe, and then I stopped buying from them because I didn't realise how bad people were treated they use child labor really really bad it's just it's fast fashion it's really bad for the environment and i know it's really cheap clothes it was supposed to i guess it's kind of like obvious for some people but i was really uneducated and then i kind of educated myself and now i no longer support them and i think if you can maybe spend a little bit more or you know buy less but more good quality stuff that doesn't make sense but if you can just try to avoid places like that but obviously if you have to or you can't afford other brands then go ahead i don't know whether this is fast fashion actually i don't know if this is like as bad i don't know educate me in the comments i don't know loads i just know about sheen so don't come for me if this is all just as bad just like let me know i've been filming for ages and i haven't gotten anywhere but yeah i do like zara a lot i've been shopping so much at zara i've got so many cute tops and stuff and jackets and stuff like that so do you want to see stuff like that i could do like a collective haul where i show you stuff i bought in the last kind of month-ish maybe because that's quite a lot i think i don't know but i actually did my first order off of nasty gal or Na nasty no nasty girl and um, which is basically i found out when i was getting my tracking thing that boohoo actually bought nasty girl didn't know that but apparently so i don't support boohoo because apparently they're really bad as well but like just like the company oh, you know what i don't even care already you care but like we're not going to go into that again but i did an order off of them they had loads of dresses like really really nice ones and obviously it's getting a lot colder now so obviously when i buy a bunch of nice dresses it's really cold it's not hot anymore so that's just great but i bought multiple dresses and then a couple extra bits that i just want to try on and show you to kind of review because i feel like that could be fun um i've had this order like i ordered this a couple a few weeks ago like a while ago now and i got it next day delivery because i spent a certain amount and it came the next day everything was fine um but i tried filming it am i gonna sneeze but yeah i ordered it came i tried filming didn't get all the way through it and wasn't happy with it so i have tried all of this on a couple times or worn it out and um, so i'll tell you stop it's like that but i've got an order coming tomorrow which is also why i want to kind of get this video done with um, and i want to do a video trying everything on for the first time and reviewing it if that makes sense rather than like this where i've already worn it and then i make a video on it i know i've been talking for a really long time and we've gotten nowhere but yeah i'm not wearing makeup because i've got lash lift and i can't be wearing makeup but i'm also really hot so i'm sorry if you can tell and also this is like just ignore this it's just the box from other shopping so yeah anyways i think we should get started i just quickly want to start by showing this so these are trousers now ooh, you had a little hint looking at them first off you might be like what are you doing what was she thinking mm -mm. i'll also put the name and price of things on the screen got to say that but i got these trousers i like stand up i'm wearing joggers they probably got cat hair all over them so just ignore that but they look like this Ooh, 
Now, imagine this with like a cropped black top with like spaghetti straps or something. Not quite this, but like, you know what I mean? I don't know. But I thought that would be, I thought that could be quite cute. And I really did want to venture out into getting more pattern bottoms and stuff rather than tops because I always change up my tops or my bodysuits etc etc but I never change up my bottoms so I wanted to do that but unfortunately the waist bit wouldn't go with my hips which is so great um but I guess that's kind of my own fault but this was listed as on the sizing chart the um bigger size of small but not quite medium and in my head I kind of thought that would work because also I'm very tall so a lot of trousers or bottoms that would fit me around the waist don't fit me lengthwise so I was like oh that should be perfect that should be fine but no my booty too big which is weird to say because no one's gonna believe that but yeah so I've still got them the tag's still on them I don't know what I'm gonna do with them um but yeah they're kind of just sitting there right now in my drawer so we love that for me but anyways I think we can move on I think we'll just move on to dresses so I've got a few I haven't got loads but I thought it'd be like a cute little try on haul so first dress I wore this yesterday when I went shopping this was the first time that I kind of actually worn it so basically I was like oh, what's the best way to do this if you go like back there so I go red everywhere. When I touch my neck, I go red. It's not a hickey. It's not, I don't even know what else you think it is, but it's nothing like that. I always get asked if I've got hickeys. I don't, okay? I don't. And my face is just gross, so. But this is it. This is just what it looks like hanging up. As you can see, it's just like pink and floral like that. And it's kind of ruched on the top, which I really like. And then the only thing is, is there's like a little tie here in between your chest, but right i love the idea of the straps and they're really cute when they're done up but they're a pain to like do up yourself and put on and these are like little tie up arm strap things but they're like two on each side so it always gets kind of tangled it gives it takes a minute a few tries to get it right but but i usually get them in the end and there is a zip on the side which i'll show you when i'm like when i've like got it on but yeah okay guys so apparently i can't film try on haul videos so that's really fun but i'm going to show you kind of everything the best as i can as best as i can i don't know so just bear with me but this is it i feel like it looks really bad because of my camera work right now but i don't want you to see everything around me so just just bear with me bear with me i'm so hot right now okay so as you can see, like I said, it's ruched here, which is nice because I can get away with not wearing a bra. And if you know me, you know that I hate bras. And so this is good for me. Um, as you can see, the straps are kind of very messy because I'm so hot, I'm so tired. I'm just really not up for fiddling with them, but you get you get the point. Um, and the dress itself, I think it's really flattering. I was really worried that because of my height and stuff, it would be really really short but i think it's like the perfect length i wouldn't want it shorter i wouldn't want it much longer at all and it's nice because there's like a lining underneath and then there's obviously the main sort of fabric so it's not see-through and it also makes it look like i've got shape which i don't so that's quite nice and then another item of clothing that i got I got this, it's one of those little tie up sort of tops or cardigans. Um, I kind of got this for fun. I didn't really expect it to not be see-through or fit around my boobs. So it is like, it's not the most opaque sort of fabric, but it is all right. I don't think you can get away with it without any bra and expect it to not show any nipple. Sorry about the box, it looks so gross. But um, I, th I like to wear it on top of these dresses. That's what I've been doing anyway. Oh my God, this angle is so gross. So this is kind of the vibe. I look a bit of a grandma with it with this one. It's not the best with this one, but you get the kind of gist. I still think it's cute. I feel like this is so badly filmed, but I'm quite tall, so it's quite hard. But yeah, I feel like you get the vibe. Oh, I hate that you can see me in the mirror. That's so odd. Is this a better angle? No. And I have worn this. Oh, I'm smaller than seven. Bear with me. I have worn this out, like I said yesterday, so once. And yeah, I thought I think it's quite nice. Okay, so next one, I'll try this one. This one still has a tag, because I haven't worn it like properly yet. But it looks like this. <clears throat> As you can see, it's once again floral. All these dresses are floral. And then it's got a kind of crisscross front, which I thought was quite interesting, quite different. And once again, there is like a zip here. Although it's quite weird, this zip. I don't know how I feel about this one. Like the zippage of it. How far down? Can you unzip? I was gonna say, I don't usually have any trouble with unzipping these, but this one's being a bit tricky with me, can't I? 
I'm sweating out. You can probably see, but I am sweating out. Okay, there we go. Is that it? Oh no, it's a little bit more. Oh no, but there's not. So it kind of just goes from the underarm down to sort of the waist, which this one goes like all the way down here. So I don't see why well, this one's all short, but yeah, I tried this on though and it was a bit small around the chest area, um, but the rest of it fit fine and I did try to kind of adjust it a bit. So hopefully, I think I can wear, I can wear this without a bra, surely. Um, so I think that'll kind of help, but we'll, we'll see. I'll try it on and then I'll come back and I'll show you and I'll let you know, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this one looks really bad, but I didn't zip it up all the way because he around here, as you can see, it's just, it. I could I could do it up before, but it was just really difficult and I just cannot do it right now. Um, Usually it gets to like here, like just near the top, it is so annoying and then it just is really difficult to budge. Honestly, I love this style of dress. I just really wish I went a size up which I would next time, which I did order the same sort of style dress, but in a different like pattern and stuff. And I did go a size up, so hopefully that will help out. But I also put it on in a really awkward way, but I don't know, this one just, I don't think, I don't think this one is anywhere near as flattering as the others. And I just, I don't think it's for us bigger chested girls even though i haven't got massive boobs they they do get in the way sometimes so yeah don't get me wrong i think it's a really nice dress i just think oh my god it looks like i'm breaking out i'm not but next time i think i would get a bigger size oh my god i can't wait to get out of this one you don't even know okay the last two are like i love these i've worn both of these before the first one is this one now looking at it straight up you might be like that is gross um, big granny vibes, but actually on I think it's so cute and like makes me feel really girly and feminine So yeah, it's also really comfy. So I'm all right putting this one on. Okay So this is the next one as you can see it's more like the first dress like the pinky one Um, is in the way it fits me but the straps on this around this one There is some elastic kind of here where the arm goes and then but around the top it's not but these aren't elasticated if that affects anyone. And then there's just a zipper up here. And once again, I think it's really like flattering. There is no layering under this one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show too much, but there's not layering unlike the first one underneath this one. Although you don't need it, it's not see-through at all. Although I am wearing a bra with this one. It's not see-through, but it does show texture. <laughs> That's not the right word to use, but if you know what I mean, if that if that doesn't bother you, if you don't mind seeing like your nipple through it, then go you, that's fine. But um, for me, I would wear a bra with this and I have done. This is one of the dresses I think this sort of top cardigan thing looks nice with. Like I feel like that's cute if you like tie it up. And then there's a little bow thing here that you can do up. Yeah, mine's left over in a bow. Oh, can I not do a bow anymore? Yeah, I think it's really cute. And it's really breezy, it's not thick and like, ugh. So yeah, I like this one. Then lastly, we've got another one that's like this one. Um, once again, I would wear a bra with this one, I think, yeah. But it just looks like this once again, maybe looking at it, it can be a bit like, oof. But on, I think it's cute. But the back on this bit, just in case I forget it, just in case I forget to say it when I'm actually wearing it. But it is like a stretchy material, which I really like. And the front again has like the bow. And I think this one is like double layered. Yeah, it's got two layers. And then the zip is like the same as this one and the first dress. Yeah, I'll put this one on. I'm so sweaty. Okay, so this is the last dress. Here it is. Um, I also found out that the straps are elasticated, if that matters to you. Um, although it's not off the shoulder because that's not going to work for me at least. But it's really nice. Um, I don't know whether this would be see-through. I don't think it would be at all actually. But I don't know whether it would show the nipple if you wore it without a bra. I just, I've only worn it with a bra before. So yeah, I can't give you my input on that for my non-bra wearers. But I think it's really nice. It's really comfy. It's really light. And I just think it's really cute. Oh my god, wait, why would that be a look? Ugh. But anyways, yeah, I've worn this with this before as well. Oh my god, I just accidentally stretched. Did I rip it? No. Did it? Oh my god, I just ripped it. Oh my god, wait, I'm so sad. It just got caught funny and I think I just ripped it. Oh, that is so fun for me. Where did I rip it? Oh no, wait, is it just cut like that? Yeah, it's just cut like that. Oh, 
But I ripped it. Does it sit funny? The bit, this bit was like tucked round and then it pulled. It's really odd. I think I'm good. Oh no, on the top you can kind of see at the back. Oh, but from the front, oh that's fine. I can work with that. I could fix it otherwise, but yeah. Looks a bit Grand Mori on camera. But like in real life it's nice. When you can see like all of me, I think it looks nice. But yeah, I'm so hot and tired, I can't wait to sleep. I need some movie so you can see me. Ow! Okay, so this is what we're gonna need to deal with for the outro. Um, hopefully I don't look too gross. Can't see really from this far from the viewfinder, but hopefully I don't look too bad. But anyways, that's kind of it for this video. I need to change my legs. Um, I feel like it was a bit all over the place, kind of all my clothing videos are, just because I'm I'm just not good with that sort of stuff. But I tried. That's what that's what counts. Oh, I also got new trainers. I'll show you. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I'm not a big shoe person. I never have been. Like I like getting a new pair of shoes, but honestly, a lot of the shoes that big brands come up with nowadays i think they're kind of disgusting i just think i just think some brands do be doing too much some brands i just think overdo it and it's just not for me personally like some other people can pull them off like i see some people and i'm like oh my god that's great but for me a lot of them just no thank you i'll just stay in my lane you know but i found that on tiktok and instagram like a couple people sort of my age-ish Maybe like a couple years older. A lot of people that are like a year or two older than me, maybe three, I don't know. But they've been wearing Converse, oh my god, some. They're like high top black ones. I don't know names and stuff, but this is them. I don't know, they're just really basic like shoes, but I think they're so cute. And then I went out the other day and I saw they had these ones. Because these only came in the mail today, or in the post, whatever you want to say. But I got these yesterday in shop. I just thought they were cute. These are like the low top ones. But they're like this light greenish colour, I want to say. And again, they're really cute. I usually just wear like Air Forces, or just like really basic shoes like that. But these are still basic. But these are a different colour, so... Like, that's something. And these are just cute. I don't know. Um, no one probably, no one asks. No one probably cares. But, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's very chaotic and honestly a bit of a mess. Not very good. But, yeah. Um, you know? Just, yeah. So, please make sure to like it. Comment, subscribe, all the things. Thank you for all your support. Even though I've kind of been really inactive since the start of school. Because everything's kind of been a bit hectic. I'll explain that sort of stuff in my Get Ready With Me's, um in another video because i have been talking enough in this video but okay i'm gonna go now because this is probably really boring thank you for watching i love you bye <laughs>